Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I am doing another install on the Durango. We are going again with the interior on the carbon fiber. You know, obviously it's not real carbon fiber, but we're trying to change the look of the vehicle. So this is actually two products in one. Um, this product is by Crosselect. And the first piece is this one. I'll have a picture of it above and a link to it below now this piece as you can see the 3m goes on here now the other piece which is two pieces first it is this piece again with the 3m and that piece goes right here sorry let me open up my door again a little bit more light That piece goes right here. And the last piece, which is this one. And that piece, it's again the 3M, goes right there. Now, once again, anybody that has installed anything with 3M tape, especially on a vehicle, knows it doesn't stick that well. So, I am using this gel control super glue. And I will link a link leave a link to this one below it was about two dollars and eighty cents off of amazon all these products i got off amazon the more expensive one was this one and that one which about like 42 dollars and this one this over here it, that one was about like 15 or 16 dollars again i'll leave links to all of them below now i am going to be using this because i am going to basically take off and what I need for the install is obviously the pieces. I am using a little bit of alcohol to wipe off the areas that we're going to be putting on because you might have had, you know, some armor all, anything like that. It makes it real greasy and sticky and hard to, you know, stick on. Wipe that down. And I am using this pick to help me take off all the 3M that's on here. Now, once I do take off this 3M, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to put dab some glue all around everywhere in the red that you see on every piece. Now, hold the piece on and hold it solid for a solid minute. And I'll show you a video of how it looks once I put all the tape on it. Um, once I remove the tape and put some of that glue... And like I said, this is more precise. You can kind of squeeze these sides, and then that's when the glue comes out. And uh, that's what I did for the speedometer one. If you want to see a video of that one, I'll leave a link to that. And you can check out the channel. But I am going to start. I guess I'll start with the smaller piece, which is just this one right here. Now... So then I have it here and I'm going to start removing all this 3M. I'll put some of that super glue and I'll come back and I'll show you guys how it looks. And, you know, obviously that's how it's going to look. And I'll show you guys how it looks when I have it installed. So, one okay, second. so I just wanted to show you how it looks. This is how it looks. I'm putting the glue. I just got to put some on that last one. So it's real hard to do. Let me pause this video real quick. Okay, so, so you can see that's how it looks. I'm gonna put it in position. Hold it like that for like about a minute or two without moving my hands. And it should be on. I'll be right back. All right, so after holding that on for about like two solid minutes, it seems really on there. Doesn't seem like it's gonna move at all. So this is how that looks and we're starting to get that nice look because we have this we have these now we have the steering wheel the cluster the carbon carbon 
And then we're going to have this and that with the carbon. And I think it's going to look real sharp. So, now I'm going to pause this video, take off the tape off of these, and we do the exact same thing to that. So, I'll pause it, show you guys how it looks. We'll do that piece, and then we'll do this piece. All right, so I just finished. So, as you can see, look at how that looks. Man, that thing looks sharp. I like how it came out. And then look at how that one looks. Sorry, let me see if I can turn on the flash on this. Yep. Oh, well, that's how that one looks. And look how that one looks. I think it looks amazing. Um, I'm going to have to rate this cross the leg product a definitely 10 out of 10. The fit is always perfect. The finish is amazing. And once again, these are areas that are, you know, obviously we know it's not real carbon fiber, but they're areas that are really going to get touched. So they're perfect. They're things that are just never going to get touched. I 100% recommend you getting that um, super glue that I will link, leave linked down be below and how I showed you how to do it. It just sticks on perfect. You stick it on and you hold it for about a minute, two minutes, give light pressure to all the other areas. And I just use the towel, give it a quick wipe and it stays on perfect. And that glue is for plastics as well. So that's why it sticks on for plastic on plastic. So that one sticks on perfect. I'm thinking about changing those petals to like that same chrome red because I'm also missing my emergency brake one. So I'm thinking about changing that up to red. But I think this thing looks amazing. I'm missing my buttons. I ordered some black buttons that are supposed to come and get it here. But this thing looks good. I like it. I like it. Uh, it was, you know, about like 42 and 15. I think in total was like $60. But it does change the interior of your truck. It does stand out. It looks real nice. Eventually, I want to get the... The one that's the whole piece here the center carbon fiber but man it, it looks sharp i like it i'm 100 percent happy and now with the new shift knob everything perfect like always link to every product i use is in the description the this piece like i said is separate compared to the other two and so you'll have a link for this one here you have a link for that one as well and you will also have a link for the same glue I used off of Amazon. I'd say buy it. It is worth it. And if you're new to this channel, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope this video helps you out. I hope you like, if you like more content about stuff like this, especially if you own a Durango, definitely subscribe. I have a lot of videos on this truck. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh